All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today, we're continuing our playthrough of Like a Dragon, Guy Den, the man who erased his name. All right. So, oh, we played the game all night, <clears throat> and we're finally in the final chapter of the game. I'm, I'm going to guess we probably have like maybe two two to, or three more hours left in the game so let's I'm gonna try to finish it this stream probably all right what do we have to do now <clears throat> and we cleared out all the Akame stories except for one of them the one where we have to collect the golden balls <laughs> I don't know where that is but you know, we'll figure out sometime in the future. But for now, we're gonna try to finish the main story. Do we got a key? Uh, no key. Low key, no key. Wait, where did I? Oh man. So yeah, good morning, everyone. All right, Akame, I'm going down this way. Oh, let me check if the stream is running. Looks like title and category are good. Okay, that's my voice. That's my crazy voice. Microphone audio, good. Back to stream manager. stuff going on. Yeah. Ha! Whoa! I missed... Don't be shy. There you go. Waste of time. Yeah. Any free stuff in here? There we go, free stuff. Nice. Oh man, you could tell from my voice I've been playing the game all night. But luckily, if it's if it's the end of the game and mostly cutscenes, then uh Hopefully I won't have to do much reading. <laughs> we'll see. Anything here? Thought I heard something go choop for the grab. Guess not. All right. Akame, I'm home. I wonder if that's Akame's bike. All right. Who are you? Uh, so, what'll it be? This one still hasn't unlocked. Oh, Coliseum story. Fudge. Look at this. We only have two left. But we can't get distracted. Can't get distracted. It's time to finish the story. Okay. Sleep on the couch. All right. I better rest up for tomorrow. Oh no, it's an Oni. So what did they call it? A Hanyu mask? Man, learning a lot of uh, Japanese culture and folklore. <clears throat> Still some time before Watase's release. Once I'm ready, I'll meet up with Hanua 
head back to the temple. Alright, what does say? Getting released? Let's see what happens. Where do we go? Oh, we have to meet at the agent hideout. All right, let's finish this story. Oh, wrong way. I keep, I, I always get disoriented going out of Akame's place. Hey dudes. Jeez, that jump kick. I mean, jump Never punch. Blessed. Rabbit punch. Da da da. Ba -ba 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 -da. We're going this way. To the hideout. Gator! Hello! How have you been, dude? Oh my gosh, and a good morning to you. Are you working? Oh man, I heard uh, I heard your computer broke or something. I hope, uh, hope you get that fixed. Yeah, everybody's, everybody was hyping up that you would be back streaming, and then suddenly everybody was like, nope, G Gator broke his computer. So, <laughs> oh, that sucks. But yeah, welcome Gator, and a big peacekeeper salute to you. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Yeah. You're off? You're having to set up your new PC? Are you streaming today, Gator? Oh my gosh, I hope you are. And have you kept up with the, with the K-Pops? A lot of, lot of cool stuff going on. I really like the new uh, Twice song, and it's an English song, which is awesome. Uh, Yena has a new song. What else was going on? Oh man, now my brain. The whole Itzy comeback, there's like three songs out, and a whole bunch of solos. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what you've kept up with, Gator. Yeah, pretty cool. You're going to stream either today or tomorrow? Nice. And you haven't been able to keep up with too much. Yeah, you know, I just I just end up seeing whatever pops up on YouTube since, no, you know, I haven't kept up with the squad too much. Like, I go on a TG stream, but the thing is, they hardly ever talk about K-pop. It's always just uh, Valorant and... Hey, are you going to the concert? That's that's the only thing people ever say in TG's stream. Yeah, it's just concert planning and uh, and the shooter games. Nobody talks about MVs or anything anymore. Ah, free stuff. Onigiri, nice. And I have been playing this game, Like a Dragon Gaiden, which is. The game that came out in November, and I'm trying to finish this because I want to get to the brand new game that came out last week. So, I was playing this all last night, and I'm finally at the last chapter. So I think there's about two to three more hours left in the game. So I want to finish it this morning, because my dad will be here this afternoon and the weekend. So I won't be able to stream while he's here, because he uses the TV a lot. And the TV is what my PlayStation is connected to. Any more free stuff? No? All right. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, and I heard you guys are playing Pal World. Man, I saw a lot of YouTube videos about that. That game was super fun. I wish it was on PlayStation 
and I think it's on Xbox and I heard apparently somebody asked the, the PlayStation CEO if they're going to get Pal World and he said he's working on it so hopefully soon Would you mind returning to the temple for a bit? You have your own Pal World server? Aw oh, man. Probably if I get to play Pal World when it's on PlayStation. Probably on the PlayStation 5. I don't have a PlayStation 5 yet, but hopefully next month after after I pay off the holiday stuff on my credit card. Oh man. So maybe maybe March or April I'll pick up a PS5. But yeah, but probably when that happens, I still won't be able to play with uh, if you guys have a private server, man, because it's probably not crossplay. Uh, and so it's probably by the time it's on PlayStation, you guys are probably done with the game. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've got nothing left to do. Return to the temple. I'm not surprised. You'll be leaving Osaka for a while then. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers play Pal World, and it looks super fun. Hopefully they do make it on the PS5. Yeah. I mean, it's already on the Xbox, so it can't be too hard to code it for PlayStation. Alright, what's going on here in the castle? Kijin clan, Homari Nishitani, deceased. Meanwhile, Inijincho, Yokohama. Oh, okay, so these are the events of the previous game. Uh, yeah, the Komi Jewel is the, uh, the Korean mob. Yeah, these are the events of, of the last game. So they're going to coincide with this game. And then the events of both these games are going to coincide with the next game, which just came out. Yeah, Tokyo Governor Ryoaki. Yeah, that's the main character of the last game. So the two main characters are now going to end up meeting and then teaming up in the next game, which just came out. <laughs> oh, that's Majima. Cool. Okay, active captain of the Omi Alliance. The night before Masaru Watase is released from prison. Okay, so these are how the two games intertwine. Oh, fuck! What do you mean we don't have as much booze as we thought? Ah, forget it. Just bring everything we got. I'll make it worth your while. I remember this from the last game. No shit. Sorno Han! Been too long, man. Busy lately, I take it? I've been, yeah. After tomorrow, I can finally relax. Really? But the chairman's finally stepping down when Captain Watase gets back. We'll be celebrating that tomorrow, too. Ain't the Watase family back to be even busier? <laughs> Suppose you got me there. But still. Patriarch oh, Nishitani would have been the one cheering loudest for Captain Watase taking the reins. But now look where we are. Patriarch got iced in a goddamn raid, and nobody can find this Joryu guy who did it. You ask me, I'd want to know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> We're all on the hunt for the asshole. Burns my guts what happened. I owe a lot to the late Patriarch. Oh, yeah. You. What? This, this guy actually stabbed him, so he's totally I lying here. Way he did take a liking to you, didn't he? Yeah, the patriarch rode your ass like a prize pony. But yeah. At least it made you tough as nails, huh? 
boy. I bet he broke you real good. Mind and body both. He was the model Kanzai Yakuza. It was an honor, him taking a liking to me. <laughs> the boss must be bent out of shape over Nishitani too. So put on a happy face when we meet him, alright? <laughs> was already got it. See ya. Tell you what makes me bent out of shape. Is lying to fellow Omi. We'll suck it up. You think my ass ain't on the line here too? He'll be the first one to blow when the announcement's made. Honestly, I can't tell who's gonna do what tomorrow. <laughs> Been a while since I felt this kind of chill down my spine. What about Kiryu-san? Still with the Daidoji. Should hmm. be coming back to Osaka soon. All right. Bum bum bum. What's gonna happen next? Only one day left. It's finally upon us, Kiryu-san. I'm meditating. <laughs> yeah. Very well. Don't mind me then. It's all right. Nice thing about meditation is you can do it anytime, any place. The Daidoji once found the news of the Yakuza's dissolution unimportant. But the winds have changed course, haven't they? Hmm? I wasn't sure if you knew. Governor Ryo Aoki has ousted Ogi Kubo Sensei and succeeded him as chair of the Citizens Liberal Party. Politician by day, Yakuza puppeteer by night. Mm -hmm. That's how he got the authority to fit the collar snug over the Omi and Tojo both. He's young, and he's after sweeping power. Of course, the Daidoji are none too pleased with that. But the dissolution of the Omi Alliance tomorrow would also be a big blow to Aoki. So? So, that means the job you're doing will be beneficial to the faction. And when you factor in the 50 billion in assets we received from the Watase family, you've done more for the Daidoji than anyone. <laughs> and they called you a freeloader. You know, it looks cheap to let money do all the talking. You're also owed a debt of gratitude for saving my life. Though I suppose that's my own cross to bear. What's with you? You're awful misty-eyed today. Close communication <laughs> between workers and management is fundamental to an organization's smooth operation. Gotta write that one down. On that note, once your work is finished, I think you ought to relax for a while. I'll start pestering my superiors to get you a reward of some kind. A reward? It must drive you crazy to be stuck in here. How about a vacation? All by yourself. <laughs> It'd be a nice change of pace. Naturally, They're alluding to the next game that's set in Hawaii. Come, but we'll try to accommodate anywhere else you'd like to go. A vacation, huh? I gather this isn't something you think about often. But give it a try. Is there anywhere you might like to visit? Well, Hawaii. Yes. I wanted to go to Hawaii. I knew it. <laughs> Any particular reason? Something Yumi said once. She wanted to get married there. It just came out one day while we were goofing Aww. around. You mean Yumi Sawamura, I take it. Haruka Sawamura's mother. The love of your life. Anala Hill Memorial Church. Hmm? Yumi always talked about going there when she was working nights in the city. She'd grown up way out in the country, at an orphanage called Sunflower. And this church? It's in Hawaii? Before I die, I'd like to leave Japan. And bring this there. It's the only gift I've ever given her. I had no idea. You were such a romantic, Kiryu-san. I know what. Yes? That's personal. Right. Well, sorry to pry. Bad habit of mine. We were never engaged. 
Back then, I... I just couldn't ever tell her how I felt. By the time I finally found the words, she was on her deathbed. Ah, <sighs> Kirisan. Forget I said anything. The lie just popped into my head, that's all. Besides, we've got tomorrow to worry about first. Who knows what'll happen when a room full of Yakuza hear about the dissolution. Your reward doesn't need to be Hawaii. It doesn't even need to be travel. Is there anything else that you want? I'm the man who erased his life and his name. I don't want anything. Even if I did, you couldn't give it to me. Hmm. Truthfully, I do know what you want. But the one thing I can't do is let you see the kids in Okinawa. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Very interesting to see the reason he's going. Ah, if I finish this game today, I'll probably pick up the new game this weekend. So we can see what Hawaii is like. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Alright. Guess I'll stay with Akame again. Wait, why are we back in Sotenbori? Anything we have to do in the city? No. All right. All right, let's stay on main mission. Where are they? What? I thought they were over here. Oh, there. There we go. over this way. Right. Akame. I'm home. There you are. 
You're here too, Suruno? Yeah, been waiting for you. Sure has. Practically waltzed in like he owned the place and said he'd wait till you showed. Hmm. Even though I told him I was working, been a real pain in my ass. Oh, fucking right already. Quit your yapping, will ya? So what is it? What brought you here? Don't worry, nothing major. Just thought I'd give you a rundown about tomorrow. Got some stuff to explain. Not here, though. Hmm. We'll meet the boss tomorrow at a construction site on the edge of Sotembori. Gonna be fresh out of the joint. We'll slap a suit on him, then head to Omi Alliance HQ. Does he know I'm coming? Yeah, our lawyers filled him in. Told him all about you. Including that you were with us when we offed Nishitani. You did, huh? And about that. I'm sorry I kept you in the dark. So that's what you wanted to explain. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I got no regrets about it happening. If I could do it over, I'd still kill him. But I tricked you into getting your hands dirty. Then I told you he was a piece of shit that got what was coming to him. Didn't even apologize, neither. Well, from where I'm sitting now, I think that was pretty lousy. After tomorrow, I'm gonna be an ex-Yakuza. No rank, no title. Getting a bow from that kind of nobody probably don't do much for you. But still, I'm real goddamn sorry. Uh, let's see, what's Gator saying? Back in a bit, gonna work you and me. on... We have both All right! Do well on it. I hope been told I hope you get the stream soon. Not good enough. It's gonna be awesome. So you bow, but you don't really I missed that, dude. Given. I really Am missed I your wrong? streams. We'll carry the weight of the things we've done for the rest of our lives. Not like we have any other choice. That's not gonna change when the Omi and Tojo are broken up, either. So I take it I don't have your forgiveness, then, huh? Aw, oh, man. I think we should forgive him. It's like, I'll never forgive you. Nah. Lift your head already. Lift your head up already. You made your point. No. It stays down until you say you forgive me. Fine. You're forgiven. Really? So. Alright, man. That's Yakuza now? honor. No. I do have one piece of good news. Mm. Some intruders showed up at Omi HQ not too long ago. One of them used to be Tojo. Name's Ichiban Kasuga. You know him? Just got out of prison after 18 years. <laughs> it's in jail I for 18 heard years. <laughs> I was locked up at that time, too. But he was in a different prison. Any idea why he'd break into Omi HQ? Kasuga used to work for Masumi Arakawa. Like a lost dog, he went right on back to Kamurocho after he got out. And that's when Arakawa shot him. Shot him? Remember, Arakawa is pretending to be a Tojo trader in front of the Omi Alliance. Had to shoot his own former loyal in cold blood just to keep yeah. up the act. And that actually he ended did. up being Some his son. He probably would have killed the guy anyway. And like but they didn't Arakawa even know him, it. So he just barely survived. Shot him to save him, more or less. Hell of a stunt. Then Kasuga found out about Arakawa's true intentions. The dissolution plan. Everything. So once he got the call from his precious Papa Arakawa-san, he came running over to Osaka. He'll be on our side at the announcement tomorrow. Will he make for good muscle? Hmm. <clears throat> Here he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goro Majima and Taiga Saejima. Of course, Kasuga <laughs> had a handful of buddies with him. You weren't kidding about the good news. No one knows what'll happen once the cat's out of the bag. Not many guys around we can trust, you know. But Patriarch Watase and the Tojo Clan's sixth chairman are ready for every Omi in that room to see this as a declaration of war. Our job is to protect the two of them and see the dissolution through. Understood. If they're in a tight spot, I'll step in. That 50 billion included a bodyguard fee, didn't it? We're much obliged. 
Take your time and rest up for tomorrow, Kiryu-san. Alright, this might be the last bit of free time I have. Better finish up anything I wanted to do. Alright, heads up. After this, you'll no longer be able to roam freely in the game world. If there's anything you've yet to complete, now is your last chance. To be safe, we recommend you create a save before proceeding. All right, this is the end of the game, everyone. Let's see if Akame has something to say. How are you? All right, We're waiting for you. Uh, there's really nothing we have to do in the castle. So, what'll it be? Akame Network, investment, no. Akame Shop, we bought all the best items. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. This dude, our weapon guy. Today's your lucky day. Alright, what do you want? I was playing. No, we bought all this. Appreciate you. Okay. How much money do we have? We only have a million. Upgrades. I think we've got the best stuff so far. We've upgraded as much as we could. Yeah. All right, let's end game this. Uh, let's save. save at this 35 all right we are just about 41 hours into the game our gear is set upgrades okay time to sleep all right yep should rest Here we go. Been waiting for you. The boss should be here soon. He's on his way from the joint. In a different time, we'd have rolled out the red carpet, but meeting at the prison's a no-go. Doesn't matter if you're captain of the Omi anymore. Yeah, I know. I bet. You did ten years, didn't you? For killing your boss, no less. <laughs> Us smashing up the Omi today ain't so different, is it? What gives, Shishido? You scared all of a sudden? Those decades of Yakuza families, all that history. And we're gonna tear it all down. Ain't you nervous, Captain? Maybe a bit. But my mind's made up. And you'd better watch yourself. Don't say stupid shit like that around the boss. Of course. Changed a bit, boss. Welcome back. Serino. Shishido. You two did good. See, so you brought a dragon back from the dead. <laughs> Couldn't have been easy. 
The Dragon of Dojima. Masaru Watase. Omi Alliance. Sure was, but 50 billion goes a long way. The Daidoji were willing to let out his leash. Thanks for coming, Kiryuhan. Guess I'm not the only one in a tough spot here. You know how much cash I ran through to find you? You're already talking about money? Man, I knew it was more about ideals. Ha! Huh. <laughs> Big talk coming from a dead man. None of it ever made any goddamn sense, did it? The dragon of Dojima died, but no one saw the body. Who'd be dumb enough to fall for that shit? <laughs> Fooled everyone but you. Only one you're fooling is yourself. Anyway, forget all that. We got a big event today, and I can't pull it off without you. This is the day the Yakuza end. Yeah. Making a big move. You and Daigo both. We didn't use this. The times forced us to. Politicians, cops, they treat us like we ain't even people. Then justify it with one bullshit law or another. Only future we got as Yakuza is as lapdogs or underground thugs. Seems that way. But we can still make ourselves a third option. We dissolve the groups and get as many of the Yakuza as we can into our safety net. But the longer we wait, the less we can do. And more and more Yakuza will fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, I can't say if that's the right choice. I'm hardly qualified to. But either way, you're putting your lives on the line to do this. That's reason enough for me to help. Look, I realize you got Daijoji breathing down your neck. But putting two giants like Omi and Tojo to rest didn't take living legends. <laughs> and a dead one, I suppose. Counting on you, cure you on. Boss, do you have the letter of dissolution? Huh? This is a historic moment. How about I get you in a badass pose holding the paperwork? Hey, quit screwing around. Oh, come on. Everybody's snapping <laughs> pics these days. Right, cure you son? Whoa, 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 knock it off. The fuck's wrong with you? Captain of the Omi Alliance, conspiring with the supposedly dead former fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. Oh man, is he live streaming this? Wanting to betray his family and disband the Omi? He's got the declaration. It's on TikTok or something. The police right there in his pocket. I get it. You're against all this. Shishido. All right. Time to knock some sense into a dude. Omi, new or old, see this video right here? Rank be damned, they'll kill you. On top of that, they'll see it was me who exposed you. I'll be the goddamn hero. What are you saying? To start, I'll be taking over the Watase family. <laughs> Fudge! Have the groundwork laid. Really? What? All of you? Betrayal. Uh, so the patriarch and the captain weren't with us. No shit that'd have everyone turned on you. You were so busy licking Watase's boots, you forgot about everyone else under you. Just means you didn't have the damn balls. And you think you're any different? I know my place in the world. I'll take it step by step. Patriarch will be the first for me. Then it'll be the top of the Omi Alliance. That's some pretty big talk there. I wasn't raised that great, you know. When I could take my shot, I make sure I put my life on it. Two long years. I've been waiting for this. To expose the Omi Alliance's greatest threat. You backstabbing rat fucks! So you were <laughs> against us all this fucking time. Asshole. You two turned on us first. Turn your back on us! <laughs> God damn! How many dudes he bringing? Hey! I'm back! Oh fuck. You all miss me, right? 
Ashitani. Ashitani. Kazuma Kiryu. Imasaru Watase. You're both dead as fuck. You wrinkly ass traitors! Oh man, okay. What? How? Patriarch Nishitani, you're supposed to be... I'm the one who killed him. Remember? Kiryu-san was there, but I had my back to him. He couldn't see a thing. So I just pretended to stab him with a little toy that spurts blood. <laughs> had a rescue team nearby and everything. All went according to plan. Well made. Unlike yours. How much betrayal oh, is I there? You. Don't you hate Nishitani too? How could you? You're not wrong. Patriarch Nishitani's had me under his thumb forever. It's been a living hell for years on end. And you're the one who saved my ass, Captain. So this is how you repay the favor? <laughs> you know, I was a good for nothing little shit as a kid. But now, I strut around this fucking town, head high. Out having those glitzy nights I always dreamed about. And once I knuckled up and stood on the winning side, I learned. There ain't nothing better than having the run of somebody. Cause you're stronger than them, and they're piss scared of you. Damn you. A full belly, clothes on my back, women in my bed. Maybe you think all that was a gift from you. What? But you'd be fucking wrong. I'm the one who clawed my way up from nothing. You just gave me a little boost in the home stretch. God, getting ordered around by a smug asshole like you. This so guy has sure too many issues to be a boss. I can't count how many times I've wanted to strangle you. I don't know how I managed not to. I don't owe you a goddamn thing. Everything I got, I got because I fought and won and took it my own fucking self. And you're planning to do what again? Break up the group? Dissolve the Omi Alliance? Fuck out of here with that. You go senile and lock up with something, you dickless piece of shit. Shishido. But while you all were flipping your shit over your little conspiracy, I still didn't have any proof. That's why I held on till the time was right. Even with proof, I'm not an idiot of your caliber. I know I can't rebuild the Omi alone. You gotta show people a vision for the future, or else nobody will follow you. But with the Kijin clan at my back, everything's taken care of. After I saved Patriarch Nishitani from the fire, I laid all my cards on the table for him. How Kazuma Kiryu survived, about the plot to dissolve the Omi Alliance and the Tojo clan. A shocking betrayal. An unforgivable conspiracy. Isn't that right, Watase Anaki? You recognize what I had back then. Didn't even care that I just left the Chingon Mafia, did you? Power is all that matters. Hey, you showed those weren't empty words. I figured you for a real man's man. So I didn't mind getting my hands dirty for you. Who do you have to thank for that squeaky clean image of yours, huh? And now you throw me to the wolves because I'm in the way of your scheme? <laughs> Kill him? Get rid of him? Sounds damn crazy, right? No, I'm the one who ordered you to be killed. Shut your fucking mouth, Cyrano! Hawking's not going to save you. Tasayanagi here betrayed me. Just like you betrayed the Omi Alliance. You know how much that stings for us? You got any idea? But you, Shishida, you've gone above and beyond. What a guy. Love ya! <laughs> If you all don't want the Omi Alliance, then we'll take it for ourselves. What was that about bootlicking earlier? Looks like you're happy to do just the same. Damn right. 
And look what that lick bark. Let me be frank, Kiryu Han. I wasn't expecting this. Squaring off against the Watasi family and Kijun both? Who would have figured? Here I thought the worst of it would be at Omi HQ. Yeah, me too. So, there's absolutely so, no one on Watase's side? Imagine the joint. We're done for. Yeah, and that tell you been planning this day for years? I ain't gone soft even a little. He has like zero loyal dudes. You, well, that gives me a bit of hope. What about you, Suno? Huh? Me? I get to fight with a couple of legends. You think I'd pass up being part of that trio? Fact is, I'm so fucking mad right now, you can stop me if you tried. Perfect. Shishido, your plan may have been years in the making. But you missed one major detail. Yeah? What do you think will happen if you don't kill us here and now? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to start all over again, wouldn't you? Oh, man. You think you have enough manpower to take us down? Now here's a moment worth saving. Shoot another video, now. Show everyone in the Omni Alliance what we're made of. Hell yes! <laughs> Get rid of these relics! The new Omi Alliance begins now! Kill them all! Let's go! Taking on the whole of the alliance. Let's go. Right, be shy. Oh man. Jeez. Well, that's not fair. To get over there. I'll handle them somehow. Just hold out. All right, up the crane. Oh, here. What do I do here? Pick up. L two. I don't get it. Uh, okay. Oh man, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Construction sign. Okay, what are, what are we doing here? Circle. Okay. Ah, oh, we have to just Spider-Man up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Here you go. <laughs> I 
Alright. Nice. There you go. Alright. God damn it. How the fuck did this happen? Appreciate the time. Got a warm up thanks to you. Sorry to break it to you like this. The show's gotta go on. I ain't finished with you, fucker! Jill. Ooh. Well. He's gonna show up in the next game. you needed a hand so I made sure to step on it here perhaps I may have gone a little overboard why did you bring Akame <laughs> oh, man. she's not a fighter Hanawa what are you doing here what about me Akame's <laughs> been giving us info on Sotenbori lately She's got her fingers in every pie in the city, so to speak. <laughs> and today, she got a tip that someone resembling Nishitani was spotted around town. Dead man walking. Yep, just a little bit ago. I worried I may be imposing, but I decided to check in on you anyway. Limo and all. <laughs> Didn't want to show up empty-handed. Can't have the Omi captain riding in anything less. Have a new suit, Joryu. You're covered in blood, you know. You've got some <laughs> thoughtful friends. You're telling me. Hey, I got something for you too, boss. I guess I won't have a chance to rest this gut of mine. Didn't I tell you? This is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> this might sting a little, but it'll hide the cuts. Wouldn't be a good look for breaking up the Omi. They'd think your own guard dog bit you. I don't need salt rubbed in with the makeup. I get the picture. The bleeding on your belly stopped, but that's all. Try to move as little as possible, all right? Shit! Ah, oh, that's smart! You'll need some rest soon, Osana. If you can't even walk, then I'm afraid there's not much else you can do. Fuck off! The boss is the one who got gut shanked. And I worked hard as hell for a long time to make this day a reality. I ain't about to split right when things get good. Good grief. How can you stick your neck out so far for those above you? The Yakuza lifestyle is alien to me. He's a rare sort these days. So, what do we do about Nishitani? Don't worry. Someone from Daidoji will be around to pick him up soon. We should be leaving. He's still alive? Sorry to keep y'all waiting. How about Shishido? Watase-san's well, Scarless makeover is complete. You guys can head to Omi HQ now. I'll say goodbye to you here. All right, Akame. Huh? I'm gonna miss you. What's up, Joryu? You're my favorite character in this game. Met, I never imagined you'd end up doing so much for me. Thank you, Akame. I really mean it. Yeah. Huh? Why are you making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again? <laughs> Sorry. Guess I sounded pretty serious. Well, listen up, Joryu. I'm gonna have work for you when you get back. I'll be counting on you. Sure thing. I hope she shows up in future games. All right. Now we're finally back on track. Uh, not exactly. I counted Shishido on my side, but... Now he's gone, and I got a knife to the gut. Sarno's got a banged up leg, too. That may be, but at least you're being chauffeured in a limousine. The Omi captain shouldn't bellyache so much. Though I suppose you've been stabbed there. Hey, shut your goddamn mouth already! This ain't the time to be flapping your fucking lips like usual. Guys, come on. I'm the one sitting here with all this shit speckled on my face. I gotta stand tall once we get to HQ. Give me a break for now, will you? Ah. <sighs> Whatever you say. How much further, Hanawa? About 10 minutes. That means in 15, the Omi Tojo dissolution will have been declared. I'm about to light a powder keg loaded with who the hell knows what. Right. And the role you play may be the most important one of all. You're reading the Yakuza its last rites. And you know as well as I do. You're the only one who can pull that off. Do declarations of dissolution even exist? They do now. Got one right here. Feels like I wrote out my last will and testament. Probably similar enough. No one can say what comes next. Best be ready for the worst. Hmm. Is quite the sight being greeted by the young leaders of the Alliance like this so these are the folks you're breaking the bad news to ah shut up already Watase how's your wound holding up oh it's only the worst pain I've ever felt I try to keep a straight face I'll protect you with my life no one will lay a finger on you then knock it off you damn charmer. This is where I make my exit. I hope it all goes well for you. 
We've been through some shit, haven't we? I owe you a thanks, Hanoa. Joyu, don't forget, you're still a Daidoji man. It's imperative you come back in one piece. Right. Hmm. Okay, so this is where it intertwines with the last game. You have uh, Ichiban, Kasuga, Majima, and Saijima are there. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. And for that, we are deeply sorry. <laughs> Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do cosign. This official document, which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai, is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? <laughs> And that's the leader, leader of the Tojo. I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? I think it's time. Let's do it. As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Watase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi chairman. Captain Watase, and acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! So if anybody's wondering, Sajima. they're basically ending the big faction war. I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Majima san. We're gonna march this declaration down to Osaka PD. I know, most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you'll have to stop me by force. <laughs> Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. <laughs> so that's him. Masumi Arakawa. Sure is. This kind of brawl. Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. <laughs> Things are about to get real spicy now. Hey, see that scraggly fella next to Tendo over there? He's that Kasuga guy I was talking about. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Oh, man. Let's make it one to remember! That's our cue. Right. They've all got eyes on Watase and Daigo. We need to protect them. Damn it. This is gone far enough. 
have. What are they? Oh shit! What are they? Really gone? So he's finally back. <laughs> the dragon of Dojima. Alright, let's cure you. Wutase, how did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back even if it costs me my life. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you sure know how to make an entrance. God damn, seriously? <laughs> Share the spotlight, would you, Kiryu-san? Nice. Oh, man. All right. Time for seconds. This feast ain't over till it's over. Yeah. Eat the whole meal lions. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Jeez. Is that all of them? Yeah. Nice. We did it. <laughs> Kiryu-san. Don't take this the wrong way, Dojima-san. It's just that my bodyguard, well, 
He's not anybody whose name you would know. You might be thinking he looks real damn familiar, but it ain't him. Hold on. I hired him from a temple called Dido something or other, I think it was. That's all I got. Puzzle it out for yourself. Understood. Well, we're done here. Let's go. Mm. Everyone, come this way. <laughs> Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. <laughs> way way easier than I thought it would be <laughs> kind of a letdown huh you say that but this shit's exhausting felt like I lose my damn lunch <laughs> <sighs> still guess this really is the end huh the Omi and the Tojo are done like dinner ah, smell you later guys <sighs> oh I know how about a party to celebrate, eh? Could really go for some tripe right about now. Of course, we can't forget to bring Mr. Bodyguard along. Thanks. But no thanks. Oh, come on, just a few drinks? You know, I never <laughs> bought it. The whole thing about you dying and all was a load of bullshit. Cue you, Chun. You've got the wrong guy. Sorry, but I've never met you. The hell? Look me in the eye and tell me you expect me to keep playing along with this shit. <laughs> I'm not asking you to do anything for me. You can move on and forget about it once I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll go along with your little charade for now, okay? So no leaving. My heart can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, come on. See? I knew he wasn't dead. Shishido. You're still standing? If Luke's could kill, we'd be in trouble about now. So he hasn't learned his lesson. Guess it's on me to teach it. Hey. You didn't finish the job? Why not, you gun saw? That or is one hell of a cockroach. You're not getting off that easy. Not while I'm still sucking air. If you want to fuck with the Omi Alliance, I'm pushing back till I'm dead in the ground. <laughs> it's over, Shishido. Cut the crap. This is freaking pathetic, man. You stay the fuck out of the way, traitor. Shishido. Cornered animal at this point. Don't look like he's got anything left to lose. <laughs> Dang. What are you doing, Majima? Get the fuck off me! Is that the best you got? Look at me. I'm still kicking assholes. And not just me. The whole Omi Alliance. Ain't that right? <laughs> Stubborn shit like this here. That's what the Omi was best at. <clears throat> What's else they saw? You're hurt. Boss! I guess before we go to the cops, I gotta change again, huh? Fudge. Now listen here. If we don't kill these bastards right now, the Yakuza are done for good. You okay being crushed by rats? 
dying on the ground? With all the pride of a soggy goddamn napkin? Don't forget who you are! The Omi fucking Alliance! Yeah! <laughs> Strength and terror. That's how you dominate. Oh man. Show these cowards some real Yakuza! God damn it. We need to shut him up. It's fine. Well, let him go. All the way. Hey! They're still in the garden! It's time! Get moving! Kill these shitbird traitors! For years they've been scheming. Behind all our backs to make this happen. Creeping in the shadows, pulling the strings, making us prance around like they're little puppets. Fuck that shit! Don't try to tell me. Any one of you's okay with that! Look at they right with They can I. take their dissolution and stick it up their motherfucking asses! Don't forget about those Tojo pricks, neither. Anyone standing in our way is dead. I want it rain and blood! Jeez. <laughs> they got a real fire under their ass now! God damn it! That's why I said we needed to shut his mouth. Wouldn't matter. <sighs> These guys aren't gonna back down. Not until they've given it every last thing they've got. Shishido. Nishitani. They're old school Yakuza, all right. They put on a big show to make everyone fall in line. And just as long as all that helps them get whatever they're looking for, nothing's off limits to them. Every single Yakuza faction, they ran on guys like that. Got a lot of good use out of them. So if we really want to dissolve the Yakuza, we have no choice but to meet them head on. And make sure we finish the job for good. Mm-hmm. That's the only way we're really gonna bring an end to all this. We step up, here and now. Because we're the only ones that can make it happen. Hmm. Bodyguard knows what he's talking about. These guys, they ain't gonna see it our way unless we force them to. Ain't that right, Dojima-san? <laughs> Feeling like... I'm the only one with no balls here. Don't say that. All this right here, none of it happens if not for you and Watase. Dismantling Japan's two biggest Yakuza groups? You ask me, that takes balls of steel. <laughs> Fair enough. Well then, today, the Tojo clan goes out with a bang! Oh man. What's up with these guys? It's the dragon of Dojima. There's that good shit. Let's go! Come on, let's dance! Jeez.
Dang it. Son, over there! He's headed for HQ! You bastard! Let's finish this, Kiryu! Shisho! You bitches! This ain't over yet! Oh, man. Come on. Get going, Kiryu. Leave these clowns to us. You said he was yours, right? Then go have your fun. Make sure you teach him a real good lesson. Got it. Appreciate the help. Even though we just met. <laughs> you always were stubborn, Kiryu chan. Guy who sits the Great Hall. In this spot right here. He's the one who runs everything. Just one word. That's all it would take to mobilize every Yakuza in Japan. That's the kind of strength we're all dreaming of! That's not the world we live in anymore. I think you ought to know that well enough by now. Don't you fucking tell me what I know! Maybe none of this matters to you. You sat the Tojo throne, even if it didn't last. But some of us got no choice. If being a Yakuza is the only life you know, then this room's all you fucking have! This place? It's the dream. And without it, we're dead! The dream, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Golden boy like you could never understand. You'll never know what it is you've taken from us. I get it. Uh, do you? I can erase my name. I can deny who I am. But deep down, I'm the same as you. You hear someone out there stronger. And soon your only thought is how to defeat them. You want to prove you're unmatched? Then bask in the glory. That's how we're built. If that's how we're built, then why the fuck did you help tear it all down? Why would you take our goddamn dream away? That's easy. Because compared to the hopes and dreams of everyone else out there, ordinary people just struggling to get through their daily lives, our dream isn't worth a damn. Everything sideways showing up here and raising hell. But at least I'll get to kill you myself. And once that's done, those little shits are next. Oh man. You wanna rattle me so bad. You Not the orphanage. It. But doesn't change the fact that this ends right here. No matter how many bullshit threats you throw at me. 
Ha! All done then? Doesn't change shit. Think I give a shit about some legendary Yakuza? All you fucks! I'll murder every one of you! Say she stole. Damn! <laughs> Fudge! Dang it! Did not time that right. Fudge. Give me your best shot. 
Oh man, I didn't press it right. Fudge. Okay, triangle. I have to press triangle. as of today for all your kicking and screaming you couldn't stop the boss or the tojo clan we won you put up a good fight i'll give you that time to go nothing more for us here Come on, get in. I'll give you guys a lift. I brought you another change of clothes, Watase-san. <laughs> Thoughtful as ever. Thanks for that. Of course. I think you'll fit. Might be a little tight, though. <clears throat> Got some guts, don't you? Trying to pull a fast one and a daidoji. Pretty slick for a two-bit thug. Personally, I'd end you right here and be done with it. But you'll make a fine agent, so you can keep your life. Oh man. I don't trust the daidoji at all. That's the government. Secret government police. You're gonna be on a damn short leash till the day you die. But don't worry. Nishitani will be there too, so you won't be lonely. No! Twenty twenty. Already tired of meditating. That's a rare sight. I just couldn't free myself from worldly desires. When I told him, he gave me this. 
The road <laughs> to enlightenment is long and arduous. We all need to take a break once in a while. I'm not certain anyone will reach enlightenment from here. <laughs> How uncharitable. You have more work for me? No. You need some time to cool off. You barely had enough time to catch your breath after all you've done in Osaka and Yokohama. Yeah, guess so. So the legendary dragon's chosen Ichiban Kasuga as his successor. Now that I think of it, there is a resemblance. Going to jail for the crimes of others. No way. Isn't that what Yakuza do all the time? I don't think of it as some grand statement about a successor. But, after the dissolution, I just wanted to help with the burden he had to carry, however I could. Before you encouraged him, he was just some thug fresh out of jail. And that thug went on to stop Ryo Aoki from going mad with power. Hmm. The Daidoji couldn't overlook Aoki going rogue like that. Without your help, there's no way Kasuga could have done so much, don't you think? I didn't give the kid superpowers. He was already strong enough. We just ran into each other. That's all. Still... What are you getting at? Stop beating around the bush. You came here because you needed me for something, right? Oh yes. That's right. The Daijoji are offering you a reward for your services. A reward? It's been said before. But your work has proven very effective. After all, it got us 50 billion yen in assets. And, on a personal note, it also saved my life. Leaving that debt unpaid doesn't sit right. So first of all, I'd like to show you this. You haven't seen this before, have you? It's your grave in Okinawa. Our hidden cameras filmed this. The same ones that we used to monitor the orphanage kids. This was taken on the anniversary of your death. <gasps> Haruto-kun was around four at the time, huh? Growing up nicely indeed. The camera's positioned far away, so they don't know they're being watched. Your last two visitors that day were Taichi-kun and Ayako-san. After a while, Ayako-san spotted the camera. She might have noticed light reflecting off the lens. Hey, Taichi. Is that... is that a camera I'm seeing? Yep. Looks like it. Pointed at Uncle Kaz's grave? If it's a hidden camera, then someone's probably watching us. Does that mean. Do you think Uncle Kaz set it up? If Uncle Kaz is really still alive, then maybe he did. <laughs> Yo, Uncle Kaz! Oh, come on. What do you think you're doing? What? There's a chance he might see this, right? Huh? We got nothing to lose, so let's try. Hmm. Hey, Uncle Kaz! Can you see me okay? It's Taichi! And... Ayako is here too. <laughs> We're all doing great! Same with Haruka and Haruto. <laughs> Shiro, Izumi, Koji, Mitsuo, Riona, and Eri... Everybody's doing well. And plus, to be honest with you, nobody here actually believes that you're, um, dead. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, that's good. 
Hey, Uncle Cos. So, I'm a firefighter now. When bad things happen, and people who are in trouble need help, I want to be the one who steps up when no one else has the courage. It's probably because I grew up watching you. As for me, I got a job at a small office. I fought really hard to get it, and it worked out. Koji's working for a company now, too. Fiona got a job in fashion. Ari wants to work with little kids. Izumi went and became an animal groomer. <laughs> she had lots of practice on Mame. <laughs> Mitsuo's working all kinds of jobs. And Shiro's majoring in science. Haruto's, well... <laughs> Lately, he's been a bit of a pain. Take your eyes off him for a second and he's gone. It's driving Haruka and you just aren't crazy. <laughs> we know. You must have a lot going on, too. Because if you were alive, you'd definitely come see us, right? Maybe. Maybe if you really are somewhere out there, you could send us a sign? We're all making our way just fine on our own, so it's not like we'd ask you to take care of us or anything. Just... It's only that we wouldn't want for you to... be lonely? Out Aww. there, all on your own? If you did give us a sign, we wouldn't tell anyone outside Morning Glory. And when you're ready, we'll all be waiting for you to come back. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. Tai Chi and I are finally old enough to drink, too. I bet we'll have a fun time. We've got so much to talk about. Oh, right. We're going to come back again tomorrow. There's something we want you to have. And plus, I want Haruka and the others to say hi, too. What is it that you wanted to bring for him? Why shall I ride? Oh, yeah, that's great. Anyway, see you tomorrow! <laughs> Bye, Uncle Cos! <laughs> Unfortunately, the camera was collected by an agent soon after this video was taken. Once the kids discovered the camera, we had no other choice. <laughs> right. I understand. I had wondered to myself whether showing you this would really constitute a reward. I'm still unsure. It is. I'm really grateful. You did. <laughs> You'll recall, Taiji-kun said he had something he wanted to give you. On the day after the camera was retrieved, they went back, all the children of Morning Glory together and left a small tube containing a picture. Now clearly, we couldn't let them think that Kazuma Kiryu, a dead man, had been there to receive it. Ultimately, we decided to leave it there, but had one of our agents take a photograph of it first. Haruto-kun drew this. <laughs> That's you in the middle, isn't it? This is just great. Haruto. <laughs> Will you look at that? He's four now. He can read and write already. The last time I saw him, he couldn't even... He couldn't even talk. And now he's... <laughs> he's really coming along. Haruka-san, too. All of the children are. <laughs> it's true. They're all... making their own way just fine. Without me. And here I am, alone. I can't even tell them how much I miss them. <laughs> I needed them more than 
if they ever needed me. That boy earlier, <clears throat> he said he wanted to show the courage to step in and help others when no one else would, didn't he? Surely you must realize you set that example for them. Hearing you say that doesn't make me feel any better. I can't do a damn thing other than sit here and meditate. Uh, which reminds me. Hanua-san suggested you take some time off and travel. It's already been approved by those in charge. Your vacation has no set time limit. You're welcome to go if you're interested. Make no mistake, though. As far as the world knows, Kazuma Kiryu will remain a dead man. Wherever you go, whatever you do, we'll be watching. So... My training's complete, then. <laughs> this temple is just for appearances, as indeed am I. Your training... will be there with you no matter where you go. It's time to move on. Hmm. Is Hawaii going to be your first stop? No. I think I'll be saving the best for last. So, putting others before yourself again, are we? <laughs> you never change. Well, well. I see you've grown quite trusting of Kiryu-san. Trust has nothing to do with it. Distinguished performance earns a distinguished reward. You can call it meritocratic. Securing his gratitude is to our advantage. It sets a good example for the other pawns in our collection. One other thing. The Dragon of Dojima is quite a fearsome ally. We would be unwise to make him an enemy. Clearly. That's why we don't want to get too involved. Hanawa-kun. He does understand his place, doesn't he? Indeed he does. Ought to be everything. Credit card, ID, all under your new name. Appreciate that. The faction approved it, so I did my job. That's all it was. Our relationship is strictly a business one, after all. It'll mean problems for both of us, if anyone thinks that you and I have become friends. Right. That'll work just fine. For us. Joyu is too on the nose to be a fitting alias. So I took the liberty, and chose Tai Chi Suzuki for you. <laughs> Just so happens that a few years back, I used this exact same name. Yes, I'm aware. I don't remember telling you anything about that. Or anyone else here, for that matter. <sighs> well, the truth is... Before I became a Daidoji member, I actually had another opportunity to get to know you. First time I'm hearing it. Well, we really are one and the same. How's that? Because we are both men who've found a new life. Men who have abandoned even their own names. <laughs> In other words, there are many more secrets you are not privy to. Hmm. Well, story of my life. Please do take care of yourself. Kill your son. See you around. Hmm. Oh, man. 
So good! Oh man, my favorite game series. I originally thought Final Fantasy was my favorite game series. But Yakuza Like a Dragon? It benefits from having a continuous story. Although I do have to finish some of the old, old games. I still have Yakuza 1 to 5 to do. Kason! Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Can't wait to see Kason again in the next game. Special appearance. That's so cool. Okay, let's see. I have to look up if, um, because the demo for the next game is on this, but I wonder how long that'll take to play. Let me look it up. Like a dragon, infinite wealth, trial. Wait. How long? All right. So the demo that's in this game is uh, about two hours long, and you can't save it. Depending if you're going to do this side. Uh, What time is it now? It's almost 12, so I don't have time to do the demo today. Shamkus! Hello! Welcome! And a big peacekeeper! Salute to you! 
Uh, sorry, Shomkis, I haven't been streaming in the afternoons for you. But I know you guys have been playing. I usually see Macy or Newbie would be on, and you guys playing Valorant. Oh, man, yeah, I've had... I've had a busy couple of weeks. So, I'm doing the tax work, and also I was sick last weekend. Yeah. So, peace angels in the chat, Chomkis. May the angels protect and guide you. And we just finished, uh... Like a Dragon... Gaiden, the man who erased his name. And it directly leads into the new game that just came out, so... I will be buying that this weekend. <laughs> and the cool thing is it's set in Hawaii. It is Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. And it has more comedy than this game. But oh my god, the ending for this game, Shamkis? This game right that I was playing now? So good. Had a really good touching part too at the end. Oh man. Yeah, and the new game is going to be set in Hawaii instead of Japan this time. So, and they said they modeled it after uh, accurate places in Hawaii. So, TG might recognize a lot of the places. I wonder if the place that Twice filmed is in there. Like the, what do you call it? The, uh, like, was it? I forgot which video it was. Oh no, they didn't film a video. They filmed uh, that photo that TG uh, went to. <laughs> well, it'll be so cool. All right, is there an ending scene? Oh, ending scene for the next game. Hawaii 2023. This is where the new game is set. Now he's got a new haircut too. Yeah, that was the ring he was going to give to uh, this girl that he liked really early on in the early games, but she died. Well, time to save. You save. All right, save complete. Close. You can now play premium adventure mode. Load a completed save by con to continue exploring locales and Sotenbori and the castle. Okay. All right, so that's if you want to complete, do the 100% completion. All right. Yeah, so it's 12 o'clock now. I don't think I have time to start the new, the demo. Because the game comes with the demo for the next one. I wonder if I should play that now. But see, my dad is coming here today, but I don't know what time. He said in the afternoon and it's almost 12. I guess I could play it. But... Don't spoil yourself! 
They said there's a no story spoiler in there. It's only a mechanic. Uh, it's only like a location spoiler. And uh, and just a mechanic spoiler to, to show you how the combat system works. If I get the new game anyway, I know. And you know what, Chomkis? I really want to buy it. And you know how... You know how I never buy games at full price, right? But it is like one of my favorite series. It's like $70. Man, and it's not even... It's like the base game, too. Like... The Deluxe and Ultimate Editions are like $85 and a hundred and five dollars but I'm definitely not getting those so I don't know do I just play the demo for now and and wait for a sale for the for the new game or do I just buy the new game right away I don't know I think I've been playing way too much Yakuza lately so I might have to give it a week a week or two you'd play the new game true I mean it just came out last week so I mean people would watch it more I guess hopefully <laughs> uh, yeah maybe I don't know maybe I'll get a new people to watch or or maybe at least on YouTube maybe you know what I'm gonna take a peek at the demo let's do that Because the demo, they said there's no story spoilers. Um, the only thing is it gives you a look at the Hawaii location and lets you wander around a little bit. But there's no no big story prob uh, issues. English. And how have you been, Shamkis? My God, we haven't even discussed the comeback. I've been away so long. I mean, I've been streaming, but I've been streaming late, late at night. Yeah, I hope you've been doing well. But yeah, oh, remember when I was afraid of the new, uh, the new accountant? I'm so glad. I, I... So the new accounting office sent me a letter and an email and then I contacted them like a dragon infinite wealth and then uh, luckily because the reason we're changing uh, accountants is because our accountant is retiring and closing their office but they they basically they merged their assets with another accounting firm and the guy that they assigned us in the new accounting firm is someone who worked under our accountant and who has also worked on our, you know, uh, on our taxes before. So he's familiar with what we've been doing. So it's going to be a really smooth transition. I was really worried because I thought we might get somebody that we're not familiar with. So, but the guy has uh, worked on our stuff before under the, you know, he was like a junior dude. All right, Adam, hello, it's been a long time. How you doing, Adam? And a big peacekeeper salute to you. Welcome. Oh man, I, hold on. Let me, let me get peace angels for you. Thank you, Adam, you beat me to it. Peace angels in the chat to you, Adam. May the angels protect and guide you. I am uh, playing now the demo of the new game, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. <laughs> You're bad at school? No problem. I appreciate it a lot. Story demo, Hawaii demo. Oh, we're gonna we're not gonna do the story one. We're gonna go Hawaii. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to be spoiled on the story. Because we're going to buy the game anyway. 
Gotta get my seventy dollars worth plus tax, so it's gonna be like something like seventy six, seventy six or seventy seven dollars. Fudge, man, games are too expensive. That's why I wait for a sale. I feel like I should wait for a sale. All right, this is uh, Kasuga Ichiban. He is the new protagonist of the game, but he's going to team up with the old protagonist of the game. Whoa. Man, ain't nothing like a sunrise in Hawaii. <sighs> Look, Adam, we're going to visit Hawaii. Oh, and they said they, they took actual store, you know, like um, store chains and locations. So they should should be a pretty accurate rep representation of Hawaii. Should be cool. You love Hawaii, Adam? I've been there once. And I feel, I feel like it was like bad to go when I was in high school because I wouldn't appreciate it as much as I would as an adult. So... Oh man, I mean, it was cool when as a high schooler, but I think it would have been more fun if I went like now. This is Aloha Beach. Sometimes they don't name things accurately. <laughs> they change the names, but it it it's based on an actual location. Wow, this beach is incredible. Feels like I stepped into paradise. Ah, oh, strange thing to say about a city that put you in cuffs. Glad I was able to help you when I did, at least. Yeah, thanks again. I swear, uh, it wasn't my fault. It was this corrupt cop. His name was Roman, a-hole. <laughs> is definitely involved in some shady stuff. Ah, we need to find him. I'll do it. Ah. That SOB put me through the ringer, too, a while ago. If it means uh, getting payback, I'm with you. Yep. Me, too. Seems like it'll be fun. Great. Thanks, you two. Ah. Stop right there. Oh, what? This person you're all talking about? You don't want to have him as an enemy. Stay away from Roman. This is the only warning you get. <laughs> well, that's convenient. I was wondering how we'd find someone who'd know his location. All right, this is representation of Americans. <laughs> Man, in Yakuza games, it's always just Japanese people, but now that they're in Hawaii, it's like... <laughs> All right, unpleasant thug. <laughs> Fine, we gave you a chance. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know I had to press the button there. Okay. So this is RPG combat. So this is wrong. Wait. This is USA, so everyone would have the AK already out. So this is wrong. Could be, although Hawaii, I think Hawaii has stricter laws than uh, continental U.S. So there, I it, the, yeah, some places have stricter laws, like New York City, for example, Shonkis. Uh there's no there's no guns carried by civilians allowed within the city, unless you have a, um, you know, like a police permit. Or like a security guard or, you know, whatever. But regular civilians can't carry firearms uh, within the city. But outside the city, that's a whole different thing. So different look, you know, that's, that's a misunderstanding about the U.S. But most of the U.S. Uh, outside of cities allow, uh, you know, what did they call it? Concealed carry and uh, open carry of weapons. But that's usually not within cities. So it depends on the location. All right, well, selecting a command, you can, all right. RPG combat, 
So this is totally different from what I was playing earlier, which was action combat. All right. Attack and skills, sure. As if thugs would care, true. That, that's true. How do I... How do I select, uh, no? How do you select the target? I feel like I don't know what I'm doing in here. Yeah, I wanted the switch. Battle tutorial, curious fighting style. I feel like I don't want to read this anyway. Last stand. Hold R2 to activate. Why is that so complicated? Hold R2. Oh, then you can action combat. Okay, I gotcha. Skill? Can we use skills? Essence of Ballroom Blitz. But yeah, if somebody's carrying a gun within New York City, they're probably a criminal. And they probably smuggled it in from outside the city. <laughs> Usually from southern states that have uh, really loose gun, uh, you know, gun sale laws. Do I have a Valentine's? I wish I did. I mean, I'm trying. You know what? I have never received the Valentines, Adam. I've sent one in elementary school to to a few girls, but I've never actually received one. So sad. Skills. Essence of Buster Geyser. I know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Shankis, did they, did they celebrate Valentine's Day in, in Germany? Fudge, really? It exists, but not really. Oh. And Adam says... You believe that... The one is searching for me? Hopefully, Adam. Hopefully. You never know. I don't know. You know, in real life, I'm too afraid to ask anyone now. Oh, man. It was easier when you're in elementary hey. school. But life kind of beats you down over the years. And then over the years, it just... Don't be like me, Adam. Over the years, I just gave up. Yeah. How about you, Shumkus? Are you gonna ask any, any, you know, anybody out for Valentine's Day? I know it doesn't exist, but you can make it exist. Nope. Come on. You've you've gotta have an eye on, you know. Yeah. There's got to be someone you like out there. Hey. All right. We don't have to read this because it's just a demo. You too, uh, Adam? Your friends and you talk to girls at school? That's good. Yeah. You got to be proactive. Because you know why? You never know when, like, there's some girl that might like you. Oh, my God. What was it? Um... So many times, I've had a situation where I was just, you know, uh, dead oblivious <laughs> to some girl that possibly liked me. Man. Hamizawa. 
like, uh, what do you call it? I did have a girlfriend in college, but only like, we were friends for a year. And then, and then I finally asked her out, but then we only, you know, we only were like boyfriend, girlfriend for a few months. And then she dumped me. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, that was terrible. But yeah, probably I should not have ruined that friendship by like, you know, asking her out because uh, this didn't work out. We were better off as friends. Jeez. Uh huh. <sighs> but she was also she was wondering why I didn't ask her like sooner, you know, to go out. Because it was like we were friends for a year, but then you know it was like it was like college, and then you know we're friends and we have other friends, and we were we were in a group that were was playing like Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, games like that, uh, and then you know there was a whole group dynamic. So and then. You know when you like you just don't want to assume that someone might like you and then you get afraid of rejection? That's that's what held me back for a long time. So Yeah. But see, it would be so much easier if girls would just let you know that they like you also, but they just don't. They're like, I don't know. I don't know why. So it would be easier if they just said, Hey, you know, Let's go hang out or something sometime. That would be so much easier. It goes, yeah, I would be agreeable to that. Oh, man. So, Adam, are you sending out Valentine's Day greetings and uh, asking any girls out? I hope you do. Where would you go if you, if you went out on a date, dude? What would be your big plan? Oh, let me see, where did I go on my first date? Me and my college girlfriend, I asked her out and we went to like this Irish restaurant steakhouse. Like, I don't know what was Irish about it, but you know, it was just Irish themed, I guess, or Irish owned. And we had steak over there, it was good. And then another time we went to the movies in the city. We went to, I bought tickets for, I forgot what movie we saw. But it was at an old movie theater. Like one of those old fancy movie theaters. So that was cool too. Steak plus one. Yeah, it's a good choice. I would say, you know. It was expensive though. Wait, do I remember? I think we... I think we split the bill. I think we split the bill. I think I didn't fully pay. Yeah, because I think she was like, oh, yeah, we should both pay. And I was like, all right, if you want. Yeah. So, but other times I remember buying tickets for things. Like, we also saw a off-Broadway show. Do you, do you guys know that... Um, that stage performance music thing called Stomp, where they uh, they like dance around and you know make rhythm music with with like garbage cans and you know just regular items. It was a pretty fun show if you've ever seen a thing called Stomp. And there's lots of YouTube videos of of that group, and I think they play in different cities. All right. We don't Let's need to see started. all this. Let's see. What did Adam say? Of course, that's your... Oh, man. Verita Holiday. Oh, favorite? Yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. All right. Hawaii. What is... What's going on here in Hawaii? Look at the beach. Just run onto the beach. 
How far in the water can I go? I just can't get over how beautiful the ocean is here. Better make the most. Time for a swim. Oh man, you can go swimming. All right, the ocean. Out in the ocean, you can paddle around. Let's go crawl, looking for investigate any lights you see. Look at this. It's like Grand Theft Auto, basically. Look at that. So, I think that's a real building. TG would know what building that is. Yeah. Oh, and that's Diamond Head right there. Oh, this is this is where TG lived, right? Shopkiss, wasn't uh wasn't TG on that mountain? Where where the big stairs are? I think that's where Diamond Head is. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, they call it Diamond Head because I guess that thing is like kind of that cliff at the top. It's diamond shaped somehow. Hey kids, you really shouldn't be uh, <laughs> out this far <laughs> in the water. Oh, I could go faster. I didn't even realize. Oh, fudge. What's this? Low lives. Is there an auto battle? I feel like I only want to auto battle. Oh, wait. Oh, that's just a buff. Actual game has an auto battle. Ultimate tag team R2. you like the new twice song how do I L1 oh that's the music Oh, there we go. Look at that. Segway. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> We're all on segways. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, breaking uh, road rules. Oh, fudge. I just, I need to avoid the fights. Skills. Okay, that's a heal. Skills. Just run. No luck. All right, ready when you are. See ya. 
Oh, you can't run away. Huh. Fudge! <laughs> that was this police brutality? Uh, skill. Skill. This is it's over. I still don't know how to select the target. Looks like I'm up. Uh let's see. Skill. Attention all passengers. You might want to buckle up. Hang it All right. That's a little extreme. Jeez. <laughs> That's a little extreme. Okay. There we go. Let's see if. Nope, nope. Ah, oh, fudge. There's too many fights. I just want to explore. Sayonara. <laughs> Alright. So running from a fight isn't a hundred percent. What is this? Treasure select pawn. Ah, this is the pawn shop. Aloha! No. These are just odd weapons. Thank you very much. Don't need any of that. Let's go out. guys outside. Outside the door. Let's go. Oh man. Oh man, did Adam leave? Oh my gosh. Oh there's enemies everywhere. I'm feeling good. Fudge. I just want to explore. Okay, map. You have to go eat? No problem, Shamkis. I won't be on that much longer, I think. Yeah. Have fun with the demo. Thank you, Shamkus. Yeah, I'm probably going to get off in a few minutes because my dad will be here soon. Well, let me see. How big is the map? Oh my god, is this, does that open up too? Oh, it does open up. Huh. Okay. We're here. Mama Masala's. Pizzeria Feliz. Oahu Burger. East Aloha. Burns and Evans. Luxury Boutique. Morning Joe. Oh, they have a clothing shop. Purple Dolphins. Probably, yeah, look at that. There's enemies all over here. ATM. Mm. 
Okay. Wait, wait, wait. If we're on segways. Uh oh, bad guys. <laughs> look, we look so goofy with us all on the segways. <laughs> Explore Hawaii, Hawaii. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of fresh coffee. I oh, didn't know you were a coffee drinker, Chicha. Oh, heck yeah. I'm happy just staring at it. Okay. You know how some cafes use those drip machines? They're pretty enchanting to watch. And different cafes have different ones. Coffee watching, huh? There's a hobby for everyone. Maybe I should be more observant next time I grab a cup. ABC <laughs> stores. Just don't mad dog the barista or they might spill. These are real stores. Bond bingo. We're really opening up. Oh. I wonder if they really look like this inside. Give gift. You may encounter gift giving opportunities while you stroll through town. We will give it to Chitose. Really? Thanks! I was just getting hungry! Ten dollars. Give that to Tomizawa. Oh, thanks. Wonder if you could can you buy these? Alright, come with me. This makes me want to play Grand Theft Auto. performers in Japan but Hawaii's go all out you turn a corner and there's someone swallowing fire oh my god there's a lot of history behind public performance here and this area is especially popular with turns a lot of acts have actually gotten their start just nearby oh so these streets are like gateways to fame in a gene show there was a guitar duo that got big from busket guess it's kind of like that here from street performer to signs <laughs> ain't that the dream oh why don't we try it we could get scouted. Make our major label debut. <laughs> Sounds fun, all right. Yeah, let's rock the world. We'll change entertainment forever. Wait, wait. first, we we've got to learn sheet music. You're not joking, are you? What are you looking at? Oh, man. Let's see what you got. All right, let's go. Low lives. Okay, how do I change target? If I go skill, then shit. It's gotta be a way to a way to change your target, right? It's not R1 R2. It's not this. Yeah, well, let me, uh... How come I can't select any of this? Oh, I'm out of, uh, magic points. So... We just can attack. Oh, so you team attack when they're near another uh, person. 
Oh, we're out of magic too. Okay. Here we go. Skill. Essence of Kali sticks. Time to put you down. Okay. Dump, dump, dump. I think I do prefer the action combat, but then the RPG combat has its own fun. Okay. Specialist travel. Fitting room service. Drinks later. Okay, sign up for so an activity. You can't go wrong with any of these. All right, diving tour. Let's all allo happy. Water, here we come. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh man, it's gotta be fun. Dolphin. Do 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 do. Something's happening here. Oh man. Aquanaut. All right, you unlocked the Aquanaut job. Did we have fun? We did. Okay, activities of weight, full version. Oh, okay, so they only want, they won't show you everything in the demo. No, sorry. Aw oh man, bad guys again. So Ryan's shirt looks comfy. Guess stay away from the enemies. Wait, can you interact with them? Jake! Oh, so you could like wave at people and then. Oh man, more enemies. Let's just run. Sayonara. Ah, Jake disappeared. Sorry. Bad guys. Let's get going. Hmm, battery goes down. Wait, you could get on uh we can get on the uh thing, alright? I 
How do I get on? Dang it. Stuff on the floor. Poseidon power. Energy drink. Here, maybe we can get on here. Oh yeah, you have to go to the bus stop for them to ride this. Riding the trolley will begin a sub-story and let you play the new minigame Sicko Snap. Fudge. Alright. Alright, trolleys sure are convenient. You can see pretty much everything Hawaii has to offer whenever you hop on board. Only we had some back in Japan. Oh. Ah, that guy's taking a ton of photos. Must be trying to get in some good shots of the scenery or something. I bet he knows everything there is to know about Hawaii. Maybe if I talk to him, I could, uh, learn a thing or two myself. <laughs> These turned out real nice. Hey there, snap any good photos? Yeah, they came out perfectly. I got the most amazing shots. Hawaii is heaven on earth for a photographer like me. I'm sure. This place has so many beautiful sights and scenes. I like the beaches. No doubt there's plenty of photo ops. Hey, if it's all right with you, can I look at some of your photos? Oh, sure. I don't mind. Are you a tourist or something? Yeah, something like that. I usually hang around Yokohama, but I had some business to take care of here. Name's Ichiban Kasi. Oh, nice I forgot to, to give Shamkis peace cool. angels. You can always find me right here. <laughs> big peace keep salute you, Shamkis. Peace angels you in the chat for you. To see my pictures, did you. May the angels here, protect and guide look. you. These are the finest photos I've ever taken. Let's see. <laughs> um, um, what the hell? <laughs> All Fantastic. right, dude. Incredible, aren't they? What do I think? Dude, what's your deal? Every one of these guys is a sicko. Well, of course they are. My field of photography is sickos, after all. Lifestyles of the sick and infamous. Oh, man. I don't know if that's what they should have termed that. You can specialize in that? Yeah, and Hawaii is the best place to find them. A lot of folks let loose when they come here, and some of them get a little too carried away. Take this viral video from a while back. Apparently, some whack job in a mask went around harassing tourists and put it on camera. And now the number of copycats imitating that video skyrocketed. Oh, if they're harassing people, then sure. Pulling even more stupid stunts around town. This place is turning into a hotbed of depravity. The perfect work environment for a photographer of the obscene. <laughs> okay. This is your job? You can really make money off of this shit? <laughs> you can make a pretty penny, actually. Who do you think pays for them? Uh, people just as obscene as you? Obscene as me? Good luck. Listen, the cops are the ones copping up the cash. You hear me? The cops. <laughs> seriously? Yeah, seriously. I told you. The number of copycats are skyrocketing. That means the police are having a hard time taking care of them. So they came to me to do something about it. Oh they my gosh. The most efficient way to round them up was to get me in on this. You know, since I'm always taking shots of them anyway. Okay, so how's a photographer supposed to help? Well, in short, the cops use my pictures to find these sickos and arrest them. We have it rigged so that whenever I snap a photo, the picture data immediately gets sent to the cops. And with the picture data, they can pinpoint where the sickos are and catch them in the act. Plus, if I can photograph them doing the deed, then the pictures also double as criminal evidence. So it's two birds, one stone. Anyway, I'm doing noble work here. Maybe one day I'll get me a medal. 
<laughs> All right. I guess that explains your bizarre taste in photography. <laughs> You're catching on. And since the trolley is the most efficient way to get around Hawaii, it makes my job easier than ever. There's no way anyone would suspect they're being watched and photographed on the fly. Honestly, it's pretty fun. Just search for sickos hiding themselves in a crowd of normal, ordinary people and snap a photo. Kind of like a game. Huh. Sounds fun when you put it that way. You want to give it a whirl? Oh, who, me? I don't know if I'll be any good at it, though. I haven't used a camera much at all. That's fine. I'm not telling you to create a masterpiece or anything. All you gotta do is look for people wearing stuff on their heads and snap a picture once you spot them. No need for any fancy tricks or techniques. Just try to keep the focus on the subject. Have them as large and centered as possible. That's how you can rake in more cash. If you think you can handle it, then give it your best shot. All right, guess I'll do a little test run. Nice! Snap away, Kasuga chan <laughs> All right. Did he call me Kasuga chan? <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. All right. Side game, snap photos, or a limited number of pictures though. Once you run out, the game ends. Earn enough snap points by the end in order to clear the game. Oh, okay. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever. And to get some good shots. Could have done better. Shots came out real nice. Fudge. What <laughs> this game? Okay, missed one. I need to step it up. Could have done better. Bad. Not doing good. I need to step it up. I'll do better next time. That was Kamalop over there. Good enough for me. Why is there a too shabby? What the butterflies have to do with it? Shots came out real nice. Oh, he was right behind the I thing, though. I'll do better next time. Up for me. God damn this game. Alright. This game is a uh, gold bonus. Wait, if you manage to photograph golden zone. Whatever, dude. Shots came out real nice. Okay. Could have done better. Could have done better. Good enough for me. Talkies. Do 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 do. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. Came out real Fudge. For me. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. I need to Fudge. Why? Why is Camel up here? Could have done better. Shots came out real nice. Good enough for me. <laughs> Some cop over there. All right. Never knew photography was so hard. I made it. What a crazy game.
Alright, what else is there to do in Hawaii? Doop, 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 doop. Cheer, Charlie. Whew. Great work, Kasuga chan You know, you're pretty good at this. Why is he calling me Kasuga chan Oh, yeah? I was tougher than I thought, though. These sickos really pop out of nowhere. Well, that's what sickos do. Show up where people don't want them. But they usually have a pattern, to some degree. Manage to pin it down, then getting some nice shots will be a piece of cake. It takes a few tries to get the hang of it, but I'm sure you'll be a phenomenal degenerate photographer in no time. <laughs> oh, before I forget, oh, you should man. for that photo session just now. Since it was your first time, I gave you a little bonus. Go on, take it. All right, rejuvenation bolus revives the fallen ally. Okay. Normally we use a point-based system where you earn points based on the quality of your pictures. You can then trade those points for cash or items, but this time special. Oh, right, you can take this too. A camera? Are you sure I can have this? Yeah, I have another one of the same model. Don't worry about it. It's all yours. There are multiple trolley lines aside from this one that the police are using to snap pictures. Each line's got its own difficulty and unique breed of sickness, oh. too. Oh, now, no. Just brush up your skills at Aloha Oh, Beach. no. It's the easiest spot to take photos from. And once you've gotten your bearings, give the other trolley lines a try when you're feeling up to it. Got it. Well, now that I've got a camera, I'll try to do my part. May not be much help, but I'll do my best where I can. Thanks. If you got any questions or just something random to say, then you can come talk to me anytime. Will do. All right. All right then. Good luck out there, Kasuga-chan. You too. <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yippee! There's a ton of sickos over there. Oh boy! Give me some Jeez. more of that action. <laughs> I don't know about this guy. Um, what's he doing? Don't look, sweetie. We call people like him a sicko. <sighs> Jeez. All right. Mm hmm. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess I guess we should call it here. It's almost one p.m. And it's almost a three-hour stream. So we finished Like a Dragon Guy 10, the man who erased his name. Yeah. And soon we will be playing this game, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. All right, everyone. I think we're going to call it here. So, yeah. Soon we will be, soon we will be playing this. Uh, the full game, not the demo. <laughs> okay. So if you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, uh, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. And to all my peacekeepers out there. Oh my gosh, who came by today? Uh, I remember Math Labs earlier. Mm, Gator. Uh, Lucas. Psalm were lurking. Uh, Adam, Shamkus, right? Oh my gosh. And everybody else that came by today and last night. A big peacekeeper salute to you all. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. <laughs> oh, did it work? There we go. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. All right. I will see you next time. Please, if you're watching this on YouTube, comment and uh, <laughs> let me know how you're liking my playthroughs of Yakuza games because I'd like to know if people are actually watching. It seems like some people are watching, but yeah, I don't know. All right. All right. I'll see you soon. Peace, everyone. I'll be fine.